organizations, youth organizations, youth residents of Kingsville. Good afternoon. It is truly an honor and a pleasure to have you here today to celebrate with us in Kingsville. Midnight, August 24th, 2013, PCC began requiring a PLWA junction to commence the rendering of the gateway to our nation. September 1st, 2013, we held the groundbreaking ceremony across the street and planted the illustration as a public awareness for this unification project. We wrote countless letters requesting support and one agency endorsed our vision, NASCOR. To NASCOR, your kind contribution in providing funding for this endeavor is highly appreciated. The project created employment opportunities for residents in the ELWA and GSA communities. The community involvement and empowerment was essential to the achievement of this goal. Most importantly, ownership as they transformed this junction. To our stakeholders at the ELWA junction, thanks for endorsing the vision. We have received cooperation from LNP, Youth organizations, Yana Boys, Pim Pim Boys, Market Women, Transportation Unions, and all peaceful law abiding citizens to relieve the ELW injunction. I want to say thank you for being far sighted and accepting development. I thank Madam Mary T. Grove, GSA Director, Mr. Edwin S. Pombula, GSA staff, and LEC for their involvement and dedication to this endeavor. Kingsville City Corporation, your devotion to this project has extended beyond employment expectations. First impression matters. ELWA Junction is the gateway to our nation's capital, and it is imperative that the appearance of the municipality reflects the dignity and aspirations of our citizens. As we move forward, we transform this city into a structured, vibrant metropolis. This unification project has infused us, the citizens of Painesville, with great pride. Thanks for helping to maintain the great. Okay, we're going to have the dedication and the ribbon cutting of the ELW Junction project by Her Excellency, Madam Ellen Johnson Sirley, President of the Republic of Liberia. <laughs> Thank you all. I'm quite sure everyone here today is pleased with the result of the work that we see. Our government has the vision. We have the plans, short, medium, and long term. But we cannot deliver unless all of those responsible are ready to implement what we plan. So here is an example of someone who caused the vision, who demonstrated the commitment to turn what was a difficult and eyesore situation into this beautiful work of art that will benefit all I'm quite sure that many of you, every time you travel along this L.Y. Junction, I will say, oh my goodness, we have another red light coming. I've talked to, to the NASCO several times, and he said, oh, we're working on it. But he talked to us so many times, and he said, we're working on it. But they didn't really tell me what they were planning and what they were doing. Today we see that one of the mentors for this kind of initiative, creativity, in all Liberians, but to have this spirit of doing it, getting it done, taking initiative,
appreciate it. Just think how far this country would be much, much further than we are today. See that and your staff, a big thank you. Those are us who drive our staff that will enjoy it. And so be the people in the community that will enjoy it. When she turns this, uh, when she turns this thing on, the fountain on, like I said, some of us have been to see something for a long time like that. When she turns it on and the kids can come and watch that, just how pleased it will be, the joy that they will have when they can sit so. The NASCO, the NASCO family, uh, not only have you turned Elwha Junction into something that we're proud of by your own building, but you've also joined hands with the Peaceful City Corporation to turn the environment into something that pleases us. So let me thank you for your corporate social responsibility and all that you do to implement uh, some of the vision that we have. So let me thank the Honorable Representative because with his support, with his encouragement to the mayor and standing by her when she has difficulties sometimes with workers or with people who are completing and she goes to him and he goes there and he talks to them and he tells them this is for their own good, this is for their future. So, Honorable Pamela, I want to thank you for the way you helped her, the way you supported her to enable her to do this. The next challenge of course is the Dupo Road Junction. <laughs> So now that you've started this beautification, you see, you can't stop. That's the one thing about people who get things done. The more they do, the more people ask of them, and the more they do, it becomes a self-fulfilling thing. Now each time you succeed, you look at the next area of success, and you move again to that next area of success. Some people don't realize that. That's what, that's what makes you succeed, the more you succeed. And so now that she succeeded, we know she, her vision will go even further. She will look at other places that she can turn into beautiful works like what she's done here. And thank all of you who have come to commend her, to join her, and to let her know how much we are pleased and proud of what she's being able to accomplish. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. 
Happiness 